Welcome back to Trends and Friends. It's Tuesday and that means we're celebrating one of our amazing local teachers for Hilliard Office Solutions Teacher of the Week. And this week we get to celebrate Mr. Corey Butler. He is the 8th grade and 11th grade U.S. History and AP History teacher from Talkington School for Young Women Leaders. Okay, the question of the day, <laughs> how do you do it with all these young ladies? Lots and lots of grace and love. No, it's <laughs> it's a great place to be. I've, I've been there 10 years now, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Yeah. And that's, you know, I, I thank them for the nomination and get to work with them every day. It's a real blessing. So. Well, we're blessed to have you here to be able to celebrate you because yeah. there's a lot of students and their parents who really adore you as their as the teacher for their kids. Um, so thank you for letting us celebrate you. Oh, I love them. They're great. Thank you all. It's been great. Well, what is your teaching philosophy when it comes to your, the topic you teach, to the kids you teach, to getting the message across? Well, I'm always, you know, I'm, I, like I said, I'm blessed. And I always tell them, you know, I like for you guys to have a real good historical perspective um, by talking and discussing and, and looking at his history from a critical way and bringing up women's history as much as possible to tell them to make them informed about their future. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we do as much as we can to, to get them involved in, in interacting with the history that they know so that they can make decisions for our future. Because heaven help them, they're going to be making some big decisions <laughs> here pretty soon. <laughs> Well, there's a good, a lot of good girls there yes. who could make some really great and powerful decisions for us. We just had one on yesterday, so yeah. yeah. So there's there's some good ones over there. You guys are doing the right thing at Talkington. Thank you. Yeah, we're excited. We just brought mock trial. This is our second year of mock Wonderful. trial, which I've been coaching, and they compete uh, next week, and so we've been working hard on that. And it's great because it gives them a lot of opportunities. Yeah. You know, we're STEM focused, but we also like to bring in the humanities and possibly law and careers that. You know, women, we want to try and teach them, you know, women don't just have these certain sets of careers that they can choose. There are other things that they can choose as well, and we really like to promote that. So. Wow. Well, we have a parent here who can attest to it. That's <laughs> right. That's so. right. I was going to say, talk about why you guys get involved at Hilliard Office Solutions. Well, he actually taught my daughter. Yeah. Took her to Washington on a field trip. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot about Mr. Butler. Uh, he loves the girls. The students, the parents, the peers, they think very highly of him. That's why he's here. Y'all have heard all that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it takes a lot of grace, a lot of patience, <laughs> working with all those women. And my wife teaches there. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Corey, on behalf of Hilliard Office Solutions, I'd just like to present to you this plaque to oh, recognize yeah. and honor you as Teacher of the Week. Congratulations. Oh, this is great. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Appreciate it. And a little something from us. We That's hope right. that you'll actually spend it for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Go and dine out. Y'all okay? know what we do, right? Yes, <laughs> we do. Yes. We That's do. That's great. But thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank truly, you all. And thank you for everything that you do for all of those beautiful students over at Talking Tech. Absolutely. This has been really special. Thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you all. And to all of you at home, keep those nominations coming. Teacher of the Week continues. And of course, we'll be right back after the break.